Welcome viewers to another Copenhagen Middle Earth Battle Gamers video. I'm your host Rob and today I'm going to be showing you a few of the miniatures that I've been working on over the last week. So let's have a look. So here we are, finally done it. It's the Shaman on the Warg. Very pleased to finally got this one done with. I painted the, the guy on foot a long time ago and it's you know, it's never fun when you have to paint the same model twice, which is essentially what I would have been doing. So I was always kind of a bit put off by doing it. But um, yeah, thanks to uh, some comments I saw in my last video, uh, I had the drive to get it done. And I'm definitely glad that he's, uh, he's done now. And uh, I'm actually very happy with the way it came out, especially the fact that they're, they're quite similar in, in the colours that I managed to produce. Um, this is the thing, it's quite hard when you have to remember colors you used on models that you painted maybe you know, five months ago or something and you're like oh goodness what was it that i used for the skin tone and and whatnot but uh, i think i think i found it pretty easily enough luckily uh, and the skin tone what i basically used was calador sky mixed 50 50 with warboss green and uh, i really like the kind of blue tone that it that it produced so that worked quite well uh, and then that had a wash of Agrax of their shade, and then highlighted again in the same mix. His robes, his red robes, that was a 50-50 mix again of Doomball Brown and Evil Sun Scarlet. Again, Agrax Earth shade. In fact, the whole model just had a, a massive wash of Agrax Earth shade. I mean, it's, it's basically the perfect wash tone for, for these kind of models. So that's nice and easy. Don't have to worry about being too precise uh, with where the washes lie uh, so that was always a good thing uh, the warg itself started off with a base coat of steel legion drab which was yeah again washed in agrax earth shade uh, then dry brushed in steel legion drab and then a very final highlight of a shepherdy bone on the fur the flesh uh, like this the face of the warg that was a mix of Steel Legion Drab and New Shepherdy Bone, uh, which had a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade, and then yeah, highlighted again in the in the mix of Steel Legion Drab, New Shepherdy Bone, and then a very very faint highlight of New Shepherdy Bone to finish off. Uh, so yeah, very happy with that. I think he looks really cool actually, and it's really nice when you actually get um, the model. Uh, both on foot and mounted when they're the same. Obviously now I'm looking at it I can see some differences. For example the skull uh, on the um, on the chest armor on the foot model is naturally on the mounted version which is quite interesting because you can basically see that it's been modeled to be the same but uh, some small changes. But all in all very very happy with it and without a doubt you'll be seeing it in some battle reports very soon. Now here we have something that I decided to do just for a little bit of fun. Um, I'm not exactly planning to start a Rivendell army or anything, but these were some models that uh, were given to me uh, well, by several different uh, close friends of mine. Uh, so I thought I'd do them justice and paint them up. Now as you can see I've gone for something quite unique, at least I've never seen anyone paint them in, uh, in these tones before. Um, and my thought process for doing these was, first of all, okay, let's do something that I haven't seen before. And secondly, it was, um, what do I think of when I think of like high elves? Um, and I think of a very rich economy, a very noble society. And uh, the first color I think of is gold. Uh, so I've kind of gone for that, for that kind of color tone. So the capes, you can see here, these were done in a mixture of uh, bubonic brown. That's an old paint. I don't know if uh, there's a new name for that one. Uh, bubonic brown and do shepherdy bone, 50-50 mix, uh, which then had a wash of agrax earth shade. And then highlighted again in those tones with a very fight, uh, thin highlights on the most rage edges in Ushabti Bone. Uh, the inner cloth, 
Like down by the legs here, that is just Ushabiti Bone, Agraxa Shade, re-highlighted again in Ushabiti Bone, nice and easy. Gold tones, same as I do with all my golds, very basic, nothing too fancy. Start off with a base coat of Doombull Brown. Multiple layers of Auric Armor Gold, probably about three layers of that to get it nice and bright. A layer of Agrax Earthshade, and then highlighted again in maybe two coats or something of Auric Armor Gold, depending on how good the first coat went on. Uh, so yeah, so these are my uh, my Rivendell Elves. I've got what is it? You get eight in the in the last alliance box set. So that means I got another six to go, uh, and I've also got a armored Elrond to paint up for that. So I might be I might do some more of that. It was actually quite fun to do uh, to do these models, even though um, they're quite basic. And the sad thing is that. Both the uh, the Elven Blade model and the Bow model in the box, they're all absolutely identical. Um, as far as I'm aware, there might be a few subtle changes, but nothing immense. So it's going to get a little bit repetitive painting them. But um, all in all, it's a very fun colour scheme to paint. I certainly enjoy doing it. Uh, which is quite odd, because I normally absolutely hate painting yellow tones. Any kind of bright, uh, bright tones, actually. Uh, but this one was actually quite enjoyable. I don't know if that's basically because it's it's my own colour scheme, maybe that made it a lot more enjoyable for me, uh, but I don't know. But um, that may be what I will be working towards for the next video to get more of those done. And maybe Elrond as well, so you can see the hero there as well. Um, but yeah, that has been my progress uh, since the last video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please comment, share, and subscribe. Um, especially comment. Um, it really gives me a lot of um, motivation to continue and to make sure I get stuff done for you to see in the next video. If uh, if you tell me what you think, or even if you have any advice or something that I could use, maybe you think I should use some sharper highlights or something. Um, let me know. And if you have the skills to paint um, faces under helmets, please let me know how you do it because. I actually have quite a lot of trouble doing it. I tend to, I feel like I lose quite a bit of detail when I do it. Sadly, I really struggle doing it. So if you got a, a little tip or, a, or something, then please let me know about that. But anyway, um, yep. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all very soon.